Well, hello again, boys and girls. It's Mr. Wassman, and today we're going to do a deep dive into uh, using fractions to help Queen Arlene solve her dilemma. This is an activity in Unit 5 for Lesson 6. It is not located in your math journal or your home links, but this is something that your teacher will provide to you separately. So if you're live in the classroom, you are probably given a handout. If you are learning from home virtually, you will probably have to access a PDF, uh, either print it off yourself or have it uh, sent to your house, however your teacher is uh, doing it. I'm going to help you with the first problem then you are going to work on solving the second, okay? So, what is Queen Arlene's dilemma? Let's read about it. It says, Queen Arlene has a problem. She wants to divide her land among her three daughters. She wants her oldest daughter to get one half of the land and her two youngest daughters to each get one third of the land. Can she do it? Use diagrams and words to explain your answer, okay? So, when I am tackling a story problem, or a number story, I always want to use the ruckus strategy. I'm going to reread this problem. I'm going to underline the question. I'm going to circle the important information, come up with an action plan, and then solve it. So I'm going to reread this problem, and as I do, I'm going to underline the question and circle the important bits. Here we go. Queen Arlene has a problem. She wants to divide her land amongst her three daughters. She wants her oldest daughter to get one half of the land and her two younger daughters to get one third of the land. Can she do it? Okay. So the question is, can she divide it in the way that she initially thought? Okay. So we reread the problem. We underlined the question. We circled some important stuff. Now we need to come up with an action plan. And my action plan it's going to be to create a few diagrams to illustrate this idea, okay? And I'm actually going to draw three diagrams, or more importantly, three rectangles, okay? And I'm going to try to draw these rectangles roughly the same shape. I'm actually going to use the rectangle making device in this app and then I'm going to copy and paste them so I have multiple versions of the same shaped or same sized rectangle. There we go. All right, so now we have three rectangles and I'm going to divide them differently. So with the first rectangle here on the left, I'm going to divide it in half, and I'm going to cut it horizontally so that we have a top half and a bottom half, like so. Okay? And then the second rectangle, I'm going to cut into thirds, and I'm going to use horizontal lines to cut it up into thirds. Now I'm drawing these by hand, so you'll have to forgive me. They're not 100% accurate, but you get the idea, okay? Now, I have these two rectangles side by side, so you can compare them, okay? Now, if I were to say shade in the bottom half of the first rectangle, to shade in one half, and if I were to then shade in the two-thirds of the other rectangles, but go from the top down, like so, you're going to notice something. There's some overlap. Okay, The border of where the, the line cuts the space in half, which is right here, does not line up with where the border of the two-thirds that would be occupied by the two younger daughters is uh, lining up here, okay? There would be some overlap between the two territories. So again, if I were to draw those same lines, right? First a horizontal line cutting it in half, and then lines that cut it into thirds, okay? My half, which would be existing in this space, here 
would encroach or overlap the spaces that the uh, other sisters occupy. This would be the contested area in blue right there. So it would not work, okay? So you can't cut an object in half and then cut the remaining half into parts that would be equals to thirds, okay? So it doesn't work. So the question then becomes, can she do it? Well, the answer is no. No, she cannot. But then what can she do? So when we look at the, the second part of this question, this is the one that you're going to work on. Okay, so it says, after thinking about it, Queen Arlene decides to keep one half of her land and have her three daughters divide the other half. She still wants her oldest daughter to get more land than the two sisters. Think of a way to use fractions to divide the land. Okay? So let's go back to our model for number one. Okay? Let's make one more rectangle, shall we? And actually, I'm going to copy the rectangle right here. It shows what the daughter had if she had half the land, okay? So this is my new model, right? So if this is half the land owned by the oldest daughter, what Queen Arlene has to work with for the other daughter is a half. And if she's going to split that between two other daughters, the only area she can work with is up here at the top. I'm going to shade in in red, okay? But there are two daughters to share that space. So what they would have to do is have to draw a line within the red zone. Now, if we wanted to be fair to both younger daughters, you can just draw a line in half, dividing the red rectangle, okay? And then what that would do is that would create a space where this is one half, and then each of these parts are fourths. This is a fourth, and this is a fourth, okay? Two-fourths is the same as one-half, okay? So if I were just dividing the parcel of land, this, uh, this kingdom, into three parts, and one person was going to get a half, and the other two were left with what was left over, my map would look something like this. But now, if you look at problem number two, you're being asked to divide a parcel of land, a kingdom, into four parts that are unequal in size, okay? Queen Arlene's going to get half to herself. The oldest daughter is going to get more than the other two sisters. Now, whether or not each sister gets the uh, same amount compared to the oldest is uh, really up to you. And that's how you would go about uh, mapping out your answer. You have to create a diagram and show what you're talking about, okay? So the last thing is what I'm going to do Okay, is I'm going to throw on a couple labels. Okay, a diagram is the combination of a picture and a label. So this is oldest daughter proposed area for the younger daughters. contested area that's in blue okay so labels make the diagram pictures with no explanation don't really help too much okay so this is how you would approach solving the problem for Queen Arlene how do you divide the land amongst your three daughters while still retaining some control of your kingdom okay if you have questions about how to approach this problem if uh, you uh, have concerns about how you can do this correctly you know what to do. You need to talk to your math teacher. They will be happy to help you with your questions and concerns. Hey, that's why they get paid the big bucks, okay? Uh, but I am confident that you will be able to figure this out uh, now that you have the tools to visualize these spaces, okay? Good luck with this. Uh, hope you figure it out. Uh, until next time, have a good day. Thanks.